So we're going to hear from Jose in just a minute, and he's going to wow us because he's got, you know, when you meet people and they just like, wow, they just know so much. He's that kind of person, and he just kind of wows you every time he talks. Um, and you're going to be able to also go back and remember, you can listen to not only this, but all the past summits and the fabathons and everything that we do at public speakers with an S, association, all spelled out, dot com. Under our summits tab, you'll hear all the past recordings. There's so much fun to go back and listen to over and over and over again. I like to go back every about three months and just like, oh, who else do I want to rehear? <laughs> Especially if you need to catch up on everyone. And you can also go to speaker search and find Jose, find me, find other incredible people, follow us, all of our contacts are there, social media connections, everything about who we are. So get us, get connected. That's all it is all about. Alrighty. So let's really dive into it. So Jose, tell us about you and how fabulous you are and what you've been up to. Well, thanks again, Tanya. Yeah. Um, about me, uh, I've been a consultant, a computer consultant and business consultant for over 21 years, uh, working on a corporate ladder. Um, eventually that really got old, uh, looking to new challenges, um, did not su fulfill me the way I wanted to. Um, I had some goals achieved, you know, just your generic, typical type of goals. But uh, eventually just got too old. Uh, I wanted to follow my heart and my passion. I started a journey of uh, self-development. Uh, that was about 16 plus years ago. And um, during that time, I just really uh, started to align with what I really like, and which is really helping people. But also I knew that, you know, to be able to help anybody, I needed to help myself first. So during those 16 years, I acquired certifications and as a life coach, business coach, hypnotherapist, NLP, which is Neuro Linguistic Programming, uh, Reiki Master, so, so quite a few. And my idea is, okay, I need to have tools. If I want to help somebody, I, I need to have tools available. So that's what I did and that's what I've done. Um, in the last couple of years, I've been focusing on reaching out to people and, and, and making a difference. I'm, I'm excited, it's going extremely well. So I'm here now with you, so I guess I made it. Yay, there you go. You have come into the spotlight. <laughs> so when you, I mean, cause wow, I mean, going from computers to Reiki master, that's a leap right? <laughs> I mean, yeah. was it, you know, a lot of times, is it a slow transition or was it like woke up one day and you're like, I need to do something really amazing? Well, I think like everything else, it's a, it's a, it's a transformation and it takes time. And uh, it's just really, uh, sometimes we just don't know what direction we want to go, but we don't want to stay where we at. So we just start trying different things. And, um, you know, going different courses and, and just trying a different versions of yourself until you find the one that said, oh, this one feels good. This right. is what I want to be, what is what I want to do. And, and that's pretty much what, the way it happened to me. Um, a lot of times we feel, you know, it's like, I just don't want to be here. I want to do something else. And, 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 and that's fine. I, we, what we want to do is try something different, right? We can't expect to have different results by, ha by doing the same things over and over again. So. Yeah, I, um, yeah, I come by in different areas, but also I wanted to make sure that every single tool that I acquired along the way was meaningful to, to, to people and meaningful to me that it was going to be effective. So as far as, you know, the Reiki, you know, being able to connect with your, your higher self and, and being able to use energy, your own power to be able to heal and, and allow other people to help you heal. So that, that was one area. And then... Neuro linguistic program NLP, which is to me one of the greatest tools ever. Um, I came across that by accident because I had some uh, family situations with my daughter, and uh, um, you know we tried different things, and we tried you know the conventional therapy and medication and doctors and all that, and I just couldn't see the results. And um, one day, I watching a TV show, I, I, I heard a little bit about NLP and said, well, "What is this all about?" So I just started doing a little bit of research. And then, long, you know, long story short, uh, I took my daughter to see this guy that was certified, you know, practitioner. And, and I go like, oh, no, this is magic. 
I need to learn this. So I, I talked to him after the session, and well, the day after, and I say, you know, where can I get this information? Where can I get certified? Where? Did, and that's how my journey started. Nice. So. I know. I think a lot of times people look at us where we are today and they just assume that's where we've always been. But I think that's the exciting part of what's happening in the world right now is that transformation that we can start off. I always love showing people this was me in 2005, Ooh. total introvert, not wanting to be part of life, just kind of in my own little zone. And I realized at that point, I needed to get out of my own way. And I was the one that was in my way, right? Did exactly. you find that for yourself and for others? What you believe, you know, uh, to me is just to, so powerful because I believe that we acquire our own built dictionary, which is our beliefs, how you look at life. Something happens to you, you check on your, on your dictionary, the dictionary says this is bad, and you, you react based on that. So, but the funny thing about it is our major, our foundation of the dic this dictionary is built between when you were between one and, and 10 years old. So it's really uh, updated. What about now? Well, you know, the new you, the things that you have learned along the way. So you need to go back and revisit this dictionary because this dictionary is ruining, is, is ru rule, not ruining, ruling your life. So, so you want to make sure that you're up to date. So the only person really stopping you for becoming or stepping into a very version of yourself is, is you. So, Because yeah. I see people all the time, you know, I mean, you have an incredible, you know, accent. But a lot of people, you know, they think, oh, those things that make me unique keeps me from being special. And I'm like, no, that's what makes you special, right? Exactly. <laughs> it's like exactly what is weird and, and unusual you know about us and kind of you know saying and absorbing it and saying this is me yay <laughs> exactly we are we are really perfectly made and we are here to play a very wonderful special game having some special features that are unique and we have to leverage those because they are meant to we have picked those features to play the game this way because this is going to bring value to you and everyone that you come across with. So, yes, you are unique, and you have to enjoy it, and you have to take advantage of it and, and just be yourself. Do you have, like, a certain, like, a tip that you can give people that if they did, like, one thing, it really makes a huge shift in them? Understanding that every experience that you have lived through has been there to serve you and to remind you who you truly are. And even adversity is there to remind you that you are stronger than what you believe you are. So to me, everything that happens from, you know, from the, the moment I was born until now is a blessing. Maybe I was not conscious in, enough to understand that it was a blessing and a lesson, a potential lesson. But um, now this is how I like to live my life. Every situation that happens is, yeah, I might not like it. I might not understand it. But it's here to serve me, to wake me up, to, to remind me of who I am or who I can be. So I always embrace it. Once again, uh, you don't have to like it, but you have to embrace it because you have to flow with it to be able to learn. And then some of the most amazing people don't even see how brilliant they are. I always think that's really weird, you know? <laughs> well, you know, mostly it's because what we've been told. We believe what we've been told, and we have to stop believing what other people are telling us because that really interferes with who you really are. They are judging you or describing you or assessing you based on their, their understanding of life not of what you have gone through or who you are. So once again, if you're using even someone else's dictionary to define yourself, you're even in bigger trouble. And that most of us, we are really, the way we grow up, we're very influenced by the society we grew up in, uh, the uh, country we grew up in, the household we grew up in, how my not dad and mom were. Uh, so yeah, I mean, but, uh, but there's something unique about you and we all have it. And we all here to share that uniqueness and stop believing or judging yourself based on from the outside. And it has to be really all an inside job. I know one of the ladies who's 
incredible friend of mine, when we first met each other, we did not like each other. And one day we kind of just started talking, come to find out, I thought she was, um, how do I say this nicely? <laughs> I thought she was very arrogant and all into herself. And she thought the same thing about me. And it was because whatever was in our heads at that time when we hit, it just didn't reflect what was the reality. And I'm so glad that we now got a chance to actually just be real honest with each other and go, how oh, the first time I met you, I didn't like you. I'm like, me too. So a lot of times it's just the moment and how whatever's going on in our world at that time, right? Like, definitely, I agree. And it's also always called uh, a mirror. I don't know if you have heard this concept in the past, but you are really reflecting yourself on others. So when you see someone that you don't like, there's the, this person is reminding you of a piece of view that you don't like, that you haven't worked on. You might, be, you might have a cover. You might be have push push it aside and, and it's not really a, so in the conscious area of your life, but it's there to remind you a piece of you that you need to work on and you need to acknowledge and you need to understand why is it coming through this person back to you. Because I know there's a lot of people that, you know, we have certain ideas of what people should be. I mean, that's just natural, I think. And, um, and it's always what we have on our inside, not necessarily what that really person is. Definitely. So it's the hardest thing to kind of get through your own biases to kind of just open yourself up to opportunities. Um, so I encourage everyone out there is just go and be with people that you would think you wouldn't have anything in common because you really do <laughs> yeah yeah it's really about pushing yourself and pushing and pushing yourself gently right you just kind of little by little taking a step out of your comfort zone and and just really saying well who told me this where did i learn this that i don't like to do this right yeah. let's go ahead and try experience it and if you decide okay this is not for me this is not for you but if it's something that you had never done in the past and you have just been so biased about it because you heard somewhere you watch it on TV or, or someone else made a judgment about it. It's just, okay, so it's really not you. If yeah. You have to go and experience it, and, you know, within your means, within your limits, uh, but trying to push yourself to say, okay, if it's something that is stopping me to grow, and, and you know, it could be a, a wonderful experience. Yeah, totally. So I love that. Um, so I would love for everyone to be able to get in touch with you because obviously they need your help to get through these issues. So how do they get a hold of you? Do you have a special offer for our listeners today? I certainly do. So grab a pen, everyone. Uh, I want you to contact me. Uh, reach, uh, you can re reach me out through my website, which is www.consciousleadershipconsulting.com. I know it's kind of long, but it's easy, consciousleadershipconsulting.com. And when you go there, you just, just request an appointment with me and use the keyword PSA for Public Speakers Association. And I know that uh, you have heard about me through, through Tanya and Public Speakers Association. And uh, we'll schedule a one hour complimentary success strategy session in, in which we will be discussing as your specific needs and how a customized uh, system can allow you to explore and to tackle some of your challenges that you currently face, either on your business side or on your personal side. Um, a lot of us really uh, focus on, on promoting business to business kind of scenario, but I think is, yeah, yeah, that's fine, that's wonderful, but who's running the business? The person, the people, so come on, just think about also that promoting or scaling your beast and it has to do a lot with you growing and stepping out of your own comfort zone. So my offer to you, complimentary strategy session, you can reach me through my website, once again, www.consciousleadershipconsulting.com. Perfect. Thank you so much. Yeah, so make sure you get a hold of Jose like right now and make something happen. Believe me, I mean, you see, if I can personally develop myself to where I am today, anybody can, okay? So get out of your own way and make it fast by getting out of your own way by 
really connecting with people like Jose so that it does it much faster. You know, I wish I had known Jose back then. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so kind. All right. Well, I hope you come back and be on my show again, Jose. I, I, I can wait. I love it. <laughs>